our new sight words this week are he and she. Now, I want to teach you something about syllables. The rule says that if on this side of the vowel there is no other consonants, then the vowel says its name. So we have e because this vowel could run away. There are no consonants holding it in over here. E, he. So this word sounds out. Now this one, I'm going to write it over here. It is very similar. Again, the E can go running away. So we say its name, E. Now the SH, remember we talked about TH, is what's called a diagram. Graph. Diagraph. Diagram is something you draw. Diagraph. So SH is also a diagraph that says shh when it comes together. It's a secret. We'll learn. But we're going to put a heart over those two letters because it doesn't sound out s -e or s e. It says she. Sh e. So you have to know when you see SH that it says shh. And then the E can run away, so it gets to say its name. E. Sh. E. Now, this song. So first off, when you are um, talking about a girl or a boy, you would say he wants to play or she needs to go inside. Um, so they often come at the beginning and you don't use them at the end of the sentences. So we don't say like, I am going to go with she. We would say, I'm going to go with her. And we don't say, I'm going to go with he, I'm going to go with him. So when it's at the end of the sentence, we use her or him. When it's closer to the beginning of the sentence, we usually use she or he. So this song is going to go to Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So get your arms ready. If you can't do it the first time with me, that's okay. But as we keep practicing this week and you keep watching this video, I want to see those arms and I want you to tap out the letters and say the word and we're going to get both of them in this song. So it goes, a girl or boy, he or she, often found at the beginning. Sentences with she or he, S H E, she, H E, he. She likes cats and he likes dogs. <laughs>